15 Famous People Princess Diana Couldn't Stand. Princess Diana is popularly referred to as the People's Princess, and that's because she touched the lives of many people through her charity work. Princess Diana may have been loved by many, but she's only human, and there were a few people that she actually couldn't stand. We'll be mentioning a few of those people in this video, so let's get into it. Number 1. Queen Elizabeth II Princess Diana had a complex relationship with Queen Elizabeth. In the early years of her marriage to King Charles, Diana had a close relationship with the Queen. She admired Queen Elizabeth greatly and looked after her as a role model. The Queen, in turn, reportedly appreciated Diana's youth and energy and was impressed by her dedication to charity work. However, as Diana's marriage to Charles unraveled, her relationship with the Queen became more strained. Diana reportedly felt that the Queen did not offer her enough support during her marriage difficulties and felt that she was not treated with the same level of respect as other royal family members. In her book, Diana, Her True Story, Diana claimed that the queen had referred to her as a girl and felt unsupported by the royal family during her struggles with bulimia and self-harm. Despite these tensions, however, Queen Elizabeth and Diana did have some positive interactions in later years. For example, Diana attended a state banquet at Buckingham Palace in 1997, shortly before her death, and the two were photographed chatting and laughing together. Number 2. King Charles The relationship between Princess Diana and King Charles was high-profile, tumultuous, and captivated the world's attention. Diana and Charles first met in 1977, when she was only 16 years old, and he was dating her older sister, Lady Sarah Spencer. They began dating in 1980 and announced their engagement later that year. They were married in a lavish ceremony at St. Paul's Cathedral in London on July 29, 1981. Although the couple appeared happy and in love publicly, their marriage was plagued by problems. Charles continued to have an ongoing relationship with his former girlfriend, Camilla Parker Bowles, throughout his marriage to Diana. Diana, meanwhile, struggled with the pressures of royal life, the scrutiny of the media, and what she later revealed was her struggles with mental health issues. The couple had two sons, Prince William and Prince Harry, but their marriage continued to deteriorate. Number 3. Prince Andrew there have been reports and allegations that Prince Andrew was rude and dismissive towards Princess Diana, but no concrete evidence exists to confirm these claims. However, some reports suggest that Prince Andrew may have been dismissive of Princess Diana's concerns about her marriage to Charles. In the controversial Panorama interview in 1995, Princess Diana mentioned that she'd reached out to several members of the royal family for support, but that she did not receive the help she needed. Some people interpreted this to mean that Prince Andrew was one of the family members who failed to support Princess Diana during her difficult times. Number 4. Prince Philip Princess Diana and Prince Philip had a complicated relationship, with some reports suggesting they did not get along well. According to various biographers and sources, Prince Philip was not always fond of Diana and had difficulty dealing with her. He reportedly found her unpredictable and challenging to deal with, and was critical of her conduct during her marriage to King Charles. In her book, Diana, Her True Story, Diana claimed that Prince Philip had told her that her marriage was a failure and that she and Charles should separate. Diana also said that she felt that Prince Philip did not understand her struggles and that she did not feel supported by him. However, other sources suggest that the relationship between Diana and Prince Philip was not entirely negative. In his book, Prince Philip, The Turbulent Early Life of the Man Who Married Queen Elizabeth II, Author Philip Ede writes that while tensions existed between the two, Prince Philip also admired Diana's commitment to charity work and her ability to connect with people. Ultimately, the true nature of the relationship between Princess Diana and Prince Philip remains somewhat unclear, and many have been influenced by various factors, including personality differences, differing views on the monarchy's role, and personal conflicts within the royal family. Number 5. Princess Anne 
Princess Diana and Princess Anne were two of the most prominent members of the British royal family. Still, their relationships often been overshadowed by the media attention that focused on Diana's marriage to Charles. Despite this, the two women had a complex relationship that evolved over the years. Initially, Princess Anne was reportedly not impressed with Diana and viewed her as a naive and unsophisticated young woman, ill-prepared for life in the royal family. However, over time, the two women developed developed a more cordial relationship. According to royal biographers, Princess Anne was one of the few members of the royal family who tried to reach out to Diana during the difficult early years she spent as a royal. Anne reportedly invited Diana to stay with her at her country estate in Gatcombe Park and gave her advice on how to navigate the tricky waters of royal life. Number 6. Ken Lennox Princess Diana and Ken Lennox had a professional relationship that lasted for many years, as Lennox was a photographer who worked closely with the royal family. However, there's no definitive account of a specific event or incident between Princess Diana and Ken Lennox that stands out above all others. That being said, there are a few notable moments in their relationship that have been reported over the years. One of the most significant was in 1993, when Diana and Lennox had a confrontation at a polo match in Windsor. Lennox had taken a photograph of Diana as she was getting into her car, and Diana felt that he'd invaded her privacy. She approached him and reportedly said, why do you hate me? What have I ever done to you? Lennox denied hating her and claimed he was doing his job as a photographer. Another notable moment in their relationship came in 1997, shortly before Diana's death. Lennox had been invited to photograph Diana and her sons, William and Harry, on vacation in the south of France. According to some reports, Diana was unhappy with the way Lennox was handling the shoot, and she asked him to leave. However, other reports suggest that the decision to remove Lennox from the shoot was made by the royal family's press officer, rather than by Diana herself. Number 7. Paparazzi Princess Diana had a complex and often contentious relationship with the paparazzi throughout her life. On the one hand, she recognized the importance of media attention in raising awareness of the causes and charities she supported. She often used her high profile to draw attention to critical social issues. On the other hand, Diana was acutely aware of the intrusive and often dangerous tactics used by the paparazzi to capture photographs of her and her family. She frequently complained about their behavior and its negative impact on her privacy, safety, and well-being. In interviews and public statements, she spoke out against the relentless pursuit of celebrity by the media, and she expressed her frustration and anger at the paparazzi's tactics, which included chasing her car, invading her personal space, and hiding in bushes or other concealed locations to capture photographs of her during private moments. Number 8. Mark Saunders and Glenn Harvey Princess Diana was the most photographed member of the British royal family until her death. This certainly affected her, especially when the paparazzi took those photos through unscrupulous means, which often ended up invading her privacy. Mark Saunders and Glenn Harvey built their professional photographing career around the pursuit of Princess Diana's daily life. They nicknamed the princess the loon, referencing those moments when she would lose her cool and flail wildly at photographers who were distressing her. In their book, Dicing with Die, Mark and Harvey gave an account of how the late princess was pressured by their constant pursuit and extreme measures they took to ensure Diana's daily activities were publicized across Europe. They proudly stated in their book how they hounded and watched her crack under the pressures of their pursuits. She would often burst into tears during the 13 years they reportedly followed her. However, Princess Diana never publicly voiced her dissatisfaction with this treatment while she was alive. But the fact that she experienced meltdowns in their presence is enough to say how she felt about their constant intrusion into her daily life. Number 9. Camilla Parker Bowles Princess Diana's relationship with Camilla Parker Bowles was strained. Camilla was the woman who Diana's husband, King Charles, had an affair with during their marriage. Diana famously referred to Camilla as the third person in their marriage, and the situation caused her a great deal of emotional pain. The story of Prince Charles and Camilla Parker Bowles began long before Charles married Princess Diana. Charles and Camilla first met in the early 1970s, and they quickly became close friends. 
However, their relationship became more complicated as Charles began considering Camilla a potential romantic partner. In 1973, Charles and Camilla began a romantic relationship, but it was short-lived. Charles was required to go on a six-month tour of duty with the Royal Navy, and during that time, Camilla rekindled her relationship with her ex-boyfriend, Andrew Parker Bowles. In 1975, Camilla and Andrew got married, and Charles was said to be heartbroken. However, Prince Charles did not pursue Camilla Parker Bowles as a wife because she was not considered a suitable partner for him by some members of the royal family and other influential people in their social circle. At the time, Camilla was seen as an unconventional choice for a future queen consort because she did not come from a royal or aristocratic family, and she was perceived as an experienced woman, which was a non-starter for the royal family back then in terms of suitable spouses for King Charles. Diana and Camilla first met in the early 1980s when Diana was just 19 years old, and Camilla was already a friend of Prince Charles. Camilla was even present at Charles and Diana's wedding in 1981. However, it wasn't a until several years later that Diana discovered the true extent of Charles and Camilla's relationship. In 1992, a recording of an intimate conversation between Charles and Camilla was leaked to the press, in which they expressed their love for each other. This revelation led to the public disclosure of their affair, which had been ongoing for many years. Following this revelation, Diana and Charles separated, and their divorce was finalized in 1996. Diana continued to speak publicly about the impact of the affair on her mental health and well-being, and she reportedly found it difficult to move on from the pain it had caused her. Despite the public backlash, Charles and Camilla remained close, and their relationship continued to develop. Diana passed away tragically in a car accident in 1997, and in 2005, they finally publicly acknowledged their relationship and married in a civil ceremony. Today, Charles and Camilla are still married, and their relationship's widely accepted by the British public. However, the affair between Charles and Camilla remains a controversial topic, and it continues to be a subject of fascination for many people around the world. Number 10. Prince Charles Staff Princess Diana had a complex and difficult relationship with Prince Charles and his staff during their marriage. While there were undoubtedly some individuals on Charles' staff with whom Diana got along, many were loyal to Charles and saw Diana as a threat or an outsider. Diana struggled with the strict protocols and traditions of the royal household and often felt isolated and unsupported. She was known for being demanding of her staff and also had high expectations of those around her husband and sometimes clashed with them over issues like the upbringing of their children and the management of their public appearances. One of the most contentious issues in Charles and Diana's marriage was their competing visions for using their platform and influence. Diana was passionate about using her position to raise awareness about issues like AIDS and mental health. Charles was more focused on his pet causes like the environment and architecture. This led to tension and conflict between them and their respective staff as they vied for control over their public Public image and message. While there were undoubtedly some individuals on Charles' staff with whom Diana had a good relationship, her overall experience with the royal household during her marriage was tumultuous at best. Number 11. Sarah Ferguson Princess Diana and Sarah Ferguson, also known as Fergie, were initially friends and were reported to have bonded over their shared experience of marrying into the royal family. Fergie married Prince Andrew, the Duke of York, in 1986, while Diana married Prince Charles, the heir to the British throne, in 1981. However, their relationship reportedly became strained over time. According to various reports, Fergie and Diana had a falling out in the late 1980s, possibly due to differences in personality and conflicting interests. Fergie was known for her outgoing and sometimes flamboyant personality, while Diana was more reserved and shy. In addition, Fergie's behavior, including her reported financial difficulties and her relationship with American businessman Steve Wyatt, reportedly caused tension between her and the royal family, including Diana. Fergie and Prince Andrew separated in 1992, which further strained her relationship with Diana, as Diana was known to be close to Andrew. Despite their reported falling out, Diana and Fergie reportedly remained cordial and were even seen together on occasion, including at royal events such as the Royal Ascot races. Following Diana's tragic death in 1997, Fergie was reportedly devastated and attended her funeral alongside other royal family members. Number 12. Prince Edward 
There's no clear consensus on Princess Diana's relationship with Prince Edward, as there are varying accounts of their interactions over the years. Some reports suggest that they had a close relationship. For example, photographs show them together at public events, and Diana reportedly spent time with Edward and his wife Sophie Countess of Wessex before her death in 1997. However, other reports suggest that their relationship may have been more complicated. Some sources indicate that Princess Diana was critical of Prince Edward's work as a television producer, and he was not always supportive of her. Additionally, there were rumors that Prince Edward had made some comments about Diana that were not well received. Number 13. Rupert Murdoch Rupert Murdoch, the media mogul and founder of News Corporation, reportedly had a complex relationship with Princess Diana, the late Princess of Wales. Their relationship was primarily one of mutual interest, as Murdoch's media empire covered the princess's life and activities extensively. In the early 1990s, Murdoch's newspaper, including The Sun and The News of the World, were known for their sensationalist coverage of Princess Diana. This often included paparazzi photos and salacious rumors about her personal life. At the same time, Murdoch's Sky News Network also covered Diana's charity work and public appearances. However, as Diana became more critical of the media's intrusion into her private life, she reportedly became disillusioned with Murdoch and his publications. In 1993, she famously gave a speech in which she criticized the media for their unhealthy interest in her life and called for a new era of privacy and respect for public figures. Despite this, there were rumors that he had attempted to court her in the years leading up to her death in 1997. Some reports suggested that Murdoch had offered Diana a job as a television presenter, while others claimed that he tried to persuade her to write a regular column for one of his newspapers. Number 14. Former British Prime Minister Margaret Thatcher Diana's relationship with Thatcher was reportedly strained at times, due in part to Thatcher's conservative political views and the princess's humanitarian causes. Diana was known for her activism on issues such as AIDS and landmines, causes that were not the priority of Thatcher's administration. Moreover, there were reports of disagreements between the two women over their respective roles and responsibilities, with Thatcher believing that Diana should stay out of politics and focus on her royal duties. Despite these tensions, there were also occasions when the two women were seen interacting in public and engaging in polite conversation. For example, Diana attended a reception hosted by Thatcher at 10 Downing Street in 1985, and the two women were photographed photographed together on several occasions. Number 15. Donald Trump British TV presenter Selena Scott wrote that Diane had received a book of Trump's as a gift and found it unpleasant. Scott also stated that Trump had pursued Diana with flowers and invitations to his events, which she found terrifying. In a 1997 interview with shock jock Howard Stern, Trump was asked if he could have nailed Princess Diana. Trump said he believed he could have and that she'd sent him the biggest superficial thank you notes after they met. This comment, along with Trump's public reputation for making Making lewd comments about women may have contributed to Diana's unease around him. Three years later in 2000, Trump again put Diana on his top 10 women he'd like to sleep with list. He said he would have slept with her without even hesitation and added she was crazy, but those are minor details. In 1997, Trump wrote, I only have one regret in the women's department, that I never had the opportunity to court Lady Diana Spencer. And that's a wrap on the 15 people Princess Diana couldn't stand. We hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any others. As always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.